not, uh, these are not rich countries. Uh, one of the things people told me about technology, and particularly about laptops in the beginning, was, Nicholas, you can't give a kid a laptop that's connected and walk away. Well, you know what? You can. You actually can. And we have found that kids in the remotest parts of the world, when given that connected, uh, like some of the kids in these pictures, not only teach themselves how to read and write, but most importantly, and this we found in Peru first, they teach their parents how to read and write. 50% of the kids in Peru who use this laptop are teaching their parents how to read and write. I don't have a better story. And most people who think about technology and education leap to the word school, leap to teachers in the classroom. And the country we're focusing on right now, as Maria said, is Afghanistan. And in Afghanistan, first of all, 50% of the kids don't go to school, 75% of the girls don't go to school. But much more importantly, 25% of the teachers are illiterate. The next 25% of the teachers have had one grade of education beyond the child. So if they're teaching fifth grade, they've had a sixth grade education. So in those cases, you have to look at what is transformational. It's not making the classroom better. It's not trying to do traditional educational technology. It's actually using the kids, and I really mean the word using the kids, as the agents of change. And they're the agents of change because they get this and they do it very, very quickly. These kids, and these, this happens to be in Afghanistan, and I'll stop. Um, but in <clears throat> Afghanistan, we have an extraordinary situation today. And I agreed with Maria this morning that I, I mentioned here, I've never said it publicly before. In Afghanistan, we, where we as the United States, are spending $2 billion per week on war. We are spending $2 million a week on education. That is our total USAID budget on education. Now, think about that. $2 billion versus $2 million. Mr. President, all you have to do is move half of 1% from column A to column B, and every child in Afghanistan will have a connected laptop in less than 18 months. Half of 1%. And that's what the United States would be remembered for. Karzai wants to do it. Petraeus wants to do it. The kids are ready to do it. And the entire infrastructure is ready to do it. So, huh? Why not do it? Now, that would make a change, a transformational change, using the kinds of technology that we've been talking about.